Let's move along to something I do know very well. This is made in France. This is Le Creuset. This is two pieces in one, four and a quarter quarts of this multifunction Dutch oven with the baker lid. So you're getting the wonderful Dutch oven. You're also getting this lid that gives you that perfect seal. But did you know this lid is also a skillet? And it's all made of enameled cast iron, all made in France, and all beautifully done in your choice of colors. Now let me tell you, I have the cerise up top. I have 360 in the cerise to go around. This is the color that I own. Here is your cassis. Five dozen in the cassis. This is Caribbean. 115. Soleil. 130. This is the flame. Four dozen. Here it is in the oyster. 230. Marseille. 250. The emerald green is back in stock. 300 to go around and we have the white. Fewer than a thousand. Five easy payments on your credit card, free shipping and handling. If you went to look or say you'd pay $425 for this, we're $172 three pennies less, and with the free shipping, over $187 less. One Pan Nan is back. Hello. Nan Kelly is here. Hi, sweetie. <laughs> Good to see you. I love this because this is the quintessential One Pan. Well, your husband would, he aptly named you One Pan Nan because this is some, the kind of thing that would allow you to do all that kind of cooking. Because you can take it straight from the stovetop to the oven, to the broiler, on your grill. David, I love this vessel and I'm excited that we get to show it because it's really a three for one. So it's a Dutch oven right. with its matching lid, Correct. but you can use each of the components separately. Use the lid as a saute pan or a baker or a True. skillet, and then use the base pot as we're doing here for soups and stews. This is our, our, our pork for soul stew, uh, soup that's in our cookbook today, our little recipe cards that you get. Yeah, these are the recipe cards that you're gonna get. 10 of those, I believe, is that right, Nan? Yes, 10, Ten in there. 10 recipes from the test kitchens of Le Creuset, so you're going to love all those great recipes. They are included with your purchase, and we're already busy on our phone lines. Free shipping and handling on this. Five easy payments. Use your cue card today at six pay. Now, Nan has been busy searing this pot roast, mm -hmm. this is but now we need powder. to build the rest of it, right? Yes, we do. You know, the stuff in cast, cooking with cast iron, I think, makes food taste better, and I'm about to show you why, because you're developing flavor. Yes. So, with the heat retention that cast iron has in it, you can get that beautiful brown sear. Look at this great big chuck roast, and chuck roasts are, are very inexpensive, but they can be a little tougher because of I that. Agree. But I agree. So, you want to slowly cook them. Look at all this beautiful fawn that we've developed in the bottom of the pan. Now, another reason I love cooking with cast iron is our enamel cast iron has has this beautiful sand color enamel on it. It gives it a very easy release personality. I'm going to go in and show you that. Just take a little wine or stock or beer, whatever you want to use, even water, and look how quickly and easily that fawn, all that flavor comes off the bottom of the pan. Beautiful. And this cleanup is so, so simple with look smell that from here. <laughs> We're going to add in the beef stock, David. We're going to build the flavor. You know, this pan has been made in the same foundry since 1925 in northern France, near the Belgian border, and I hope I, hope I go there one day. Have Me you too. I'm just away in your suitcase. <laughs> if you do, uh, that's going to be awesome. So we've put in our vegetables, we put in our stock, we've deglazed the pan so we've got all that flavor, those flavorful bits from the mm. bottom. Now we're going to take the flavor that we built on top of this pot roast, that wonderful brown searing, and we're going to place it right on the top there. And then we're going to take our lid that I was holding that five pound chuck roast in right. and use it as a lid. And that's going to lock in all that juice, all that great moisture, and allow then for the braising to happen when this goes into the oven. I forgot to show you. You said lock it in. Look at the rim. This is precision manufacturing since 1925. This gives you that slow and low ability. It kind of creates a convection oven of its own. So you heat from the top. It locks in that moisture, and that chuck roast is going in the oven, and then Can it's going to come out all nice and tender and juicy to the right. One more down, One David. One more down. Yes. Now, we've already taken the lid off to show you. Don't burn yourself. I won't. I won't burn myself. I'll pull it out. It's, it's really easy to grab because it has these nice big cast iron handles yes, here. Yes, indeed. I'll get your door. Now, David, if this says Sunday in the South. It sure does. It did in my house growing up. It did in my house, too. Look at these beautiful... This, let me get these two forks. Look how tender this is. So this has been slow and low. Another, look at that fork tender. Look at that beautiful chuck roast, David. Gorgeous. 
You know, so it, it holds the heat beautifully for that searing. We developed that flavor and got that searing, but then it holds a lovely simmer in the oven for hours or on the stove top. And then you get a big old dinner roll to sop up that gravy. Oh, uh, you know what I'm talking about. Girl, I know. Hey, can I talk to you about colors? Because we have, in some cases, dozens of these to go around. So since our March debut, over 16,000 of these have been spoken for. This is the Cerise. Fewer than 350. This is the one that I ordered. You guys remember when this was on? I ordered it live on the air on my phone on my QVC app. I did you? Yeah, I did indeed. So this is the Cerise. How many left here? I'm sorry. 350. This is Cassis. Five dozen. Caribbean. 100. Soleil. 125. Flame. Fewer than four dozen. Oyster. 225. Here's Marseille. 250. In the emerald green. Most popular. I have 300 to go around, and we have it in the white. If you want to go around there, five easy payments on your credit card. And now we're talking about starting on the stovetop, finishing yes. in the oven, yes. or doing the entire meal on the stovetop. This is a multifunction pan. Well, it is. The, the lid we're using just to do these wonderful pork chops. So we're going to do the same thing for a little red wine, a little stock in there, and let this be kind of a smothered chop that's on the stovetop. This goes to David. I know you know this because you own the Cerise. I do. This goes on any stove stop stove top surface. That's now we get say. a lot of questions. Will this work on a glass stove top? And the answer yes. is yes. But yes. let me encourage. Let me let me just give you a, a few little caveats on that. I would tell you yes, it works on a glass stove top, but be careful to place it gently. Right. Also, I would not drag it across the stove no, top agreed. because you might you might end up with you know some scratching uh, on your stove top. So this is what is important because it's a heavy piece. Yeah. So it's important and it's cast iron, let's not forget. But this will work on gas, electric, ceramic, radiant ring, induction, mm -hmm. in the oven. And if you want to, you can put this in the dishwasher. But I find that in the sink with warm soapy water, it comes up like a dream. Well, because of that enameling and that sand color too, another reason that that's so important, you can see what's going on in your pan. You can see where your spoon is at the bottom of the pan. You can see if your fond is developing. You can see if you're burning or scorching, which I hope you're not. Just You don't even have to turn the heat up very high. But what I love about that enameling is the easy to clean up. Okay, this is the pork pasol soup that is in the recipe booklet. I'll you do get that. 10 recipes in there. So we browned off pork um, in the in the base which is four and a quarter quarts this is going to easily feed I don't know eight to ten people mm -hmm. and with the two and a quarter quart capacity for the lid you can use them together or you can use them independently from one another and here's the photo that goes along with the soup a little avocado some Not to mention also the recipe and some radishes and here's the recipe look at that Bang. 10 little recipes Beautiful. and they were all developed for this vessel so you're going to know what to do with it immediately when you get it out of the box the orange box but you know the what orange box <laughs> but you know what you're never going to have to do with it you're never going to have to season it nope you're not going to have to baby it you're going to pass this down to your kids and your children because this has a limited lifetime warranty this is made to last longer than you and me david well it'll be around here long after we're all gone <laughs> yeah, hey let's least. take a look here at cleaning because cleaning of this is super easy and I know that once you've had this in the oven and you've been braising, you're thinking, how in the world am I going to get all that off of there? It comes off like a dream. I use Scrub Daddy on mine. And I get into, into the sink. I put a little dish soap on there under a little hot running water. And look here. Just comes up beautifully. All that's going to come away because of that sand enameling on the inside of each of your Le Creuset pieces. You're going to love also that that same sand enamel is the same enameling that's on the outside. It's just that the outside color is different. So it's important to know that we do that in on each one of these. Thank you, David. And it comes together beautifully. These scalloped potatoes. How perfect are these for Easter? But, well, you're right. These are going to be beautiful for Easter. And if you want to broil off the top like we did and just get them nice mm. and round, because this does go under the broiler as well. Look at those nice big handles again this is your lid for your Dutch oven but it's also your own skillet you can pan fry in this you could fry bacon and sausage you could do salmon on the stove top right. in this too uh, so it is your lid for your Dutch oven but it's its own baker as well and David um, we got to have dessert if we're gonna have roast on this Sunday there is a great recipe in the little booklet that you get. David and I were talking about how ginger goes so well with fruit. It's a strawberry ginger crisp. I'm going to oh. get some ice cream and serve that up. Look here. There's the recipe. Comes right along with this, and it's just beautiful. This smells amazing. You know what I think would also be good with strawberry and ginger? Rhubarb. 
Yes. Because you know the ginger would help take the edge off the rhubarb as well as the sweetness from the strawberries. I was telling you, I like to put a little um, ginger in my fresh cranberry sauce at Thanksgiving time. Which is also nice. So this is going to be a lovely, a lovely three-piecer. It's really three in one, and at that value, you're getting the lid, you're getting a Dutch oven, and you're getting the base that's also its own slow cooker. Well, let's take a look at your color choices. This is the Cerise, and we're awfully excited to have this one for you. How many? 320 to go around. Here's Cassis, four dozen, Caribbean, fewer than 100, Soleil, 115, Flame, 30 left in the flame, my word. Wow. Here it is in the oyster, 200. This is Marseille, 250, Emerald Green, most popular, 275 left to go around, and then finally your white. This is free shipping and handling. With that free shipping, we are $187.75 less. Let's put a little uh, cinnamon honey glaze on our Easter ham, four which is so and nice. Four quarter quarts for your, and take it right to the Easter table, the soleil. How beautiful is that gonna be? With your green beans, saute your green beans or your asparagus. If you wanna do a big old uh, patch of uh, collard greens or turnip greens in this Easy. space. That would be perfect. Can I just say that down south, we make ham a multi-syllable word. Ham. <laughs> We do. I'll go get yourself a ham sandwich. Let's get a ham biscuit. <laughs> Let's do. Let's have ham for Easter. <laughs> I am from Mississippi. Exactly. It's going to come a, out, isn't it? It's, it, well, it always comes out of me. <laughs> this is K49505. Thank you, my friend. Thank you so, so much. So good to happy see you. Easter to you. I hope too. you have a great great day and a, and a, and a happy spring. This Thank is uh, K49505. Let's check in. Stacey, have we not mentioned how beautiful you look in your stars today?